Imagine you're setting off on a long-awaited vacation. You're more than ready for some R&R &R at the lake or beach, but instead of the pristine water you were looking forward to, there's a slimy, smelly algae bloom. But is it dangerous? In a word, maybe. Some algae blooms are dangerous for humans, pets, and even wildlife. When a bloom is toxic, it's a bad idea to drink the water, swim in it, or even breathe the air nearby. But how do you know if it's a toxic algae bloom? Here's some info that might be helpful. First, start with your local government. Most states try to track harmful algal blooms, but state agencies might not know about all the blooms happening in that state, or if the blooms that they do know about are toxic. The best thing to do is always look for and follow warnings from local authorities, often the health department. These could be on the evening news, in the newspaper, online, or even near the affected bodies of water. And if you can't get any official information, here are some general guidelines. If you see a dead fish or animals in or near the water, that's a huge red flag that something is very wrong. Other signs that there might be a toxic algae outbreak are if it looks like there's a blue or green spilled paint on the surface of the water, or if the water is bright green, pea soup green, or blue green. If you suspect water contains toxic algae, don't get near it, and definitely don't go in it. The same goes for your pets and of course kids, and steer clear of eating locally caught fish. More and more algae outbreaks are fouling rivers, lakes, and reservoirs across the US. Peak season is in the summer, but they can happen any time of the year, especially in the warmer parts of the country. To learn more about toxic algae blooms, head to ewg.org slash toxic algae and check out our interactive map to find out if a lake or river where you live or where you're headed is affected by a toxic algae outbreak.